Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a tool called NetSniff-NG. So this is another sniffing tool that we can utilize in our arsenal. So that's why I wanted to put this in this series. So what we're going to do is let's go back to the uh, PowerPoint. So we're going to be talking about what is NetSniff, okay? How to use it, and I want to show you that in Kali Linux and then how to perform a scan utilizing this tool, all right? So if you're ready, let's get into it, all right? So let me open up my Kali box, okay? So in here, we're gonna be performing a scan. So I just wanna make sure we have this clear. So now we're at a clear slit, slate, all right? So the first things first, we're gonna do is open up the man pages for this tool so we can see what it's all about, all right? So we can do man, NetSniff-NG. So the name of it, NetSniff-NG, the, the packet sniffing beast, okay? This is pretty much the toolkit. And what it is, it's a fast, minimal tool to analyze network packets. That's pretty much what it is, okay? So you can go down the, uh, down the man pages. So it's, you know, it's Linux specific as it shows right here. So it's not supported in any other operating systems, okay? So you can just read through this tool. It has some information that's useful. And then we can hit quit for now. So next thing we're gonna do is open up the help options, okay? So we're gonna do netsniff ng and dash dash help, okay? So this is gonna give us some options and some switches that we can use in the command line interface okay so as you can see there's a whole bunch of options we're going to do something very simple for uh, for these examples we're going to go ahead and use pretty much the first one but we're not going to worry about all these extra stuff all i'm going to do is capture packets on my eth0 interface and i want to put it to an output file and I want to name that file. And the file is going to output wherever you are in the present working directory. For example, if I use pwd, I'm in home Kali. So that's where that file is going to export to, okay? So let's go ahead, and I have a, a command here. Let me clear the screen so I can uh, start from a clean slate, okay? So if I Go here, I want to go ahead and put infosecpat2.pcap. So what I'm going to be doing here is capturing the packets that are in or that are running on ETH0. Okay, so let's hit enter and we can go out to the internet, a browser. We're going to start seeing packets generated there shortly. So if we go to google.com we can go to volnweb.com, okay? So let's make this bigger. Let's see, now you can see there's a whole bunch of traffic generated, okay? Let's go back. We can go to testasp.net. We can make this bigger. Let's go to login, okay? And let's try to log in and capture that as well. Let's put info set pat, my password, password, 2021 okay so that generated and let's go to Facebook okay cool so we went to Facebook Google and web vol of Voln web okay now let's go ahead and stop that with a control C all right so we generated plenty of packets we have 1198 packets okay so now if we do an ls, we can see this is the file we want to focus on now, infosecpat2.pcap, all right? So let's open up that with Wireshark, okay? So we're gonna open up Wireshark, we're gonna to go to File, Open. We're gonna go down to Home Cali, and we should see infosec 
2.pcap. All right, let's open that bad boy. And we see a whole bunch of packets. If we, it was, what is it, 1,198? So if we go all the way down, 1,198, you see that here, okay? So now, what we can do is we can filter out to make things easier. For example, just TCP or lowercase TCP. Okay, these are all TCP packets. If we want to see DNS, we can see all the DNS queries. And let's see if we can find that uh, username and password that we sniff, HTTP. Okay, so we have some HTTP. It's going to be a post. So let's go ahead and look for this guy. So it went from 200, which I think that is my IP. So it looks like it's going to be packet 545. Let's just open this guy up. We can look at the HTML form URL encoder, and it looks like it's right there. So we're able to capture those packets with, with the netsniff-ng. And we were able to do it just like you know we did just with regular Wireshark and how we did it in the other videos. So that's pretty much it. That's the tool in a nutshell. It's very, very simple. It's a very simple tool. You can play around with it, get to know it a little better, learn different commands and switches. But I just wanted to show you the simplest way to utilize this tool for troubleshooting or just to capture packets on your local network. All right, so until next time, have a good one. Please like, subscribe, share, and hopefully you're enjoying these videos. Thank you so much.